Hi there, Toy here. I'm counting my sleepy blessings. <laughs> So, sorry guys, I don't usually, Ooh, sorry, come on here looking terribly unpolished, which for me, I don't think it's that big of a deal because I don't polish up that much <laughs> anyway. So, I am so sorry. I meant to record this earlier in the month and it just got away from me and I did not want this month to... um and without me posting a counting my blessings, I really want to try to do this every month. And if I miss a month, it's no big deal. But I just figure in the times that we're currently living in, that it's important for me as a content creator, um, whatever I'm putting out there, if people like it or dislike it, whatever, something like this, I think is important. So again, I apologize. Oh, I will not make a habit of this, but I just got up this morning and I was like, oh crap, it's almost the end of the month and I haven't posted or recorded a counting my blessings. So that's what I'm doing. I'm counting my blessings. Um, I guess I will start by saying that um, the fact that I'm recording this video is a blessing because if you remember in January, <laughs> I was not so blessed <laughs> being able to record and post things um, with that whole transition from um, PC to Mac. So this is, you know, I'm counting my blessings. Um, I would also like to point out that the fact that I had those issues in January was still kind of a blessing. This is what we called um, first world problems. Um, if me not being able to record a quality video is the greatest challenge that I have, I am blessed. <laughs> um, now, it's not my greatest challenge. I have other <laughs> challenges, but I'm just saying that particular thing. Um, for for those YouTubers who it's their livelihood, something like that, it, it's more than just a first world problem for them. So I totally get that I'm not downplaying that at all. There's a lot of people who make their living on YouTube. I don't, um, and not that I wouldn't want to, but I just know that the kind of content that I'm putting out on the frequency and all this, that's, I'm doing this because I enjoy it and I hope you kind of enjoy it too. Um, so for me to be like, oh, woe is me, I can't record. That's kind of a first row problem, but I am glad to be back, um, able to record and post videos. So that's another blessing. Um, I have been making strides with, um, being able to um, have alternative foods. And I'm not going to go into a whole spiel. If you know what I'm talking about, it means you've been following the channel for a while. If you don't, just real briefly, I have a lot of food restrictions that I didn't used to have. And so it's very difficult for me to eat. I can't basically like eat out anymore. <laughs> um, sometimes if I'm able to call ahead and talk to the people, I can maybe get a decent meal. But <clears throat> for the most part, I sit around watching other people eat a lot or I just eat at home, make my own food. Um, and so I've been making some strides with that. Um, I think I announced, I know I announced it on Patreon. I'm not sure if I announced it here, but I am working on, I keep calling it a cookbook, but I really don't think that's what it's going to be. Like it's gonna have like a couple of recipes in it just to like share, but I'm basically writing a book for my family and friends, but since I'm writing it for my family and friends, I might as well just put it out there. And so it's just going to be kind of talking about everything that I'm going through with this whole journey of, you know, what it is I can and can't eat and why I can't eat these certain things and what I'm using for alternatives, why I'm using those alternatives, those kinds of the things, and just giving people some idea of, you know, just what it's like to be me or anyone else with like restrictions and stuff. I think um, a lot of people have said things to me that they definitely were trying to be helpful, but were actually kind of hurtful. Um, when I started going through this whole challenge, I would have people be like, oh, just eat gluten-free, you'll be fine. Well, I don't have celiac, so gluten isn't necessarily my issue. <laughs> so um, yes, I, I, I totally agree that reducing the amount of gluten that I intake would probably make me feel better in some aspects, but it wouldn't solve the problem that I'm having. I had other people who were telling me, oh, just, you know, don't eat carbs. Again, same thing. There, I had people who were like, oh, go vegan. Again, same thing. Um, 
And I don't have issues with anyone, you know, choosing these um, these dietary lifestyles, but they weren't necessarily a fix for the problem that I have. Um, I've done a, a lot of, you know, research into this for myself personally. And what I have found is that um, a lot of these different um, food lifestyles or nutritional lifestyles have a lot of great qualities, but I have to pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Like I have found a lot of vegan recipes that are great for me, but even just at face value, I have to change ingredients within that recipe because there's something in it that I can't eat. <sighs> I won't go on too long about that, but that is part of the journey that I'm going on right now. But I am blessed that I have these options. If I had this experience 20 years ago, so I'm giving away my age. I'm not shy about my age, but I mean, 20 years ago when I was 20, <laughs> If I was a 20 year old having to deal with what I'm dealing with now as a 40 year old, I would be a mess. I would feel like a child again. I would be like, I can't believe I've made it to adulthood and I feel like a child, you know, like it's very humbling to have your whole reality change in a way that you just were not expecting. People don't realize how much their life revolves around the food they eat until they can't eat those foods anymore. So most people will never be able to um, really empathize with what I'm going with because they can still eat whatever they want. You know, there's there's nothing keeping them from eating those things. So um, anyway, I just wanted to, you know, come on here and just count my blessings. And um, sorry that I'm less than polished. But again, like I said, it's not that much different from when I am polished. <laughs> so guys, let me know what you're counting your blessings. And until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay.